all eyes turned to a small probe, the near Shoemaker craft that was coming to the end of its long three-year journey through space. One of its main mission aims was to find out all about the composition of Eros, a 30-kilometer wide asteroid. The obstacles the probe faced were formidable. Eros is far smaller than any planet or moon, and it is moving at twice the speed of a bullet. Eros is a 30-kilometer object. It was more than 300 million kilometers away from Earth when we went there, and that's more or less like trying to land on the end of a human hair at a distance of 100 meters. The official mission aim was simply to orbit and gather valuable scientific data. But secretly, the team had a much more ambitious plan. We had the plan to land even before launch, but uh, just mentioning it to various people on the project, while well, the project manager, for instance, he wasn't too happy. And um, I kept hearing uh, that, uh, that I should not be saying the L word too often, especially if the NASA headquarters people are around. We have begun our final braking maneuver and we're currently only a, a couple hundred meters above the surface. No craft had ever tried to land on an object so small or so fast moving. Still Landing would depend on a complex series of delicate thrusts. We haven't lost the signal yet. One mistake and the craft could have crashed. Just a few, few hundred meters to go, and uh, we're on track for a nominal landing. That's right. But instead, as these descent photographs show, it landed safely. Are we on the surface? We're absolutely unbelievable. We're uh, probably seeing detail now at uh, the scale of a few inches. I'm happy to report that the near spacecraft has touched down on the surface of Eros. We are still getting some signals, so evidently it's still transmitting from the surface itself. The success of the probe may prove to be more useful than anyone at the time predicted. It not only sent back valuable information about the composition of Eros, but by being able to get up so close to its target, it may have made a major breakthrough in how we could deal with these threats in future. This is the first time that any spacecraft has landed on a small body. <laughs> Suddenly, a whole new kind of technology could be deployed. <laughs>